I'm at Thebarton here on Port Road and you may remember in 1962 that the Matt's plan actually envisaged there'd be a major interchange here above ground system to separate the freeway limited access road. This is a very important intersection because what we've got is the tram line. We can see the tram now is waiting to get around the intersection. We can see the large trucks coming through from, from Mile End and we also see the buses coming along Port Road and at this point we've got Port Road, George Street through Thurberton, we've got John Covington Drive and then we've got North Terrace. There's so much traffic that to make it wider doesn't mean that you're going to that vehicles will be able to get through because they'll have to wait their turn at the traffic lights just as that tram had to wait and that large truck had to wait. The only solution is similar to what we saw in Brisbane where they've gone underneath the, the land to actually enable the vehicles to be move around and have a grade separated system underneath the ground and not above. Now we've seen in Los Angeles County that they, since 1962, near the junction of Highway 101 down from San Fernando Valley to Hollywood through the Adelaide Hill, the, the uh, Hollywood Hills, since then the people of Los Angeles have had a, rep, rep, a rep, ref, ref, referendum where they've decided that they will levy 1% of their sales tax in Los Angeles County for public transport and they've built two underground railway lines one we've seen already which goes from Union Station to Hollywood then underneath the, the Hollywood Hills to North Hollywood with the Union with the uh, film studios Warner Brothers Studios and others Universal Studios and then at that point they've joined on to what used to be an old private railway line which was turned into a streetcar or tram and then as a result of this money they turned that into a bus rapid transit similar to the O-Bar where buses only stop infrequently. In Los Angeles there are actually two underground railway systems built since 1962 and a number of tram lines, streetcars, which are elevated have been built as well as bus rapid transit. In Adelaide we have an excellent opportunity to, with the north-south, to build a tunnel from Thebarton, from Mile End through to here and we see there's two giant trucks coming in who, uh, one of them is actually waiting over here at the traffic lights and this other one is now waiting its turn to go across the intersection. So we can see that the traffic here is held up by the fact that only one lot of vehicles can move at a time in a situation where there are one, two, three, four main roads of transport, either public transport or private transport. So the other truck is now coming into view. As we've seen, the same thing could be done at the end of South East Freeway where we go underneath, we go underneath the system and we have grade separation by going underneath and not trying to go above. When you go above, you destroy things. It's much cheaper to actually build something underneath and not destroy things on the surface than it is to actually make the roads wider and have things on one level, like here. This is the 1962 view of the intersection at Port Road and, and Congdon Road, George Street, which is just here. Showing in 1962, the planners saw the need for grade separation by a freeway, as shown in red, and the local roads 
major roads are shown in this amber colour and we can see this is the police barracks at the time which is proposed to be the new women's and children's hospital and these were the railway workshops which have been turned into this section has been turned into the Royal Adelaide Hospital and then along here is the university two university buildings to deal with medical work and then research institute here and then another building which is to do with medical facilities so a whole great number of people are now being brought into this area and we're still using exactly the same roads as existed in 962 the proposal in 962 was to have the freeway running a ring around the city and using flyovers as a solution the modern solution as we saw in Brisbane with the Brisbane Airport Tunnel was to go underground using no enabling no destruction of the businesses and residences at ground level so it suggested that this complicated system of flyovers and flunders is best served in known in the modern century in modern times using underground fly under this is the intersection in Google Earth at ground level you can see there are two lanes of road to take the port road into the CBD and three lanes of road are being used to allow cars to wait at this intersection to get across to South Road and on the other side the similar number of lanes so they've gone sideways to try and deal with the traffic keeping everything on one level comes at a cost these power poles used to be located somewhere here and were shifted across at great expense now if we come out of the ground view we'll see that in fact this is right alongside the new women's and children's hospital site and these are the railway lines and the, the red lines here are the tram line and we're seeing the conflict between cars trying to go on the ring route one across the intersection and the trams and uh, the trucks trying to go along the same route as well if we add in the Google Earth roads we can see down here that there used to be a road here called Diversion Road which has been covered over it suggested that what we could do similar to what's been done in Brisbane with the airport tunnel is have underground tunnel to bring vehicle traffic to a region I'm not going to try and put in all the other tunnels that are necessary we look at the main issue so what we've got a bit further down is this is the, now the north-south tunnel and currently the government is looking at a diversion of this what's called the inter interconnect section of the roadway on James Ovington Drive as a roadway it suggested that a tunnel would be better and that the tunnel could go as in Brisbane underneath existing houses and the other direction the tunnel could go would be into the city of Adelaide the CBD into, into Grote Street currently you've got a whole series of intersections at ground level and this bridge which has to go over all these railway lines which would need to be made wider so it would probably be cheaper in the long run to actually just go underneath the surface